minute ventilation. Now this is in regards to the set ventilation, what the operator actually sets versus the measured. So I am not going to be talking about measured minute ventilation, just the set ventilation or minute ventilation, sorry. So what is minute ventilation? Minute ventilation, this is just a symbol for minute ventilation, the little flow symbol. And mathematically, it is just frequency times my tidal volume with my set minute ventilation this is going to be of course my set frequency and my set tidal volume if I am in volume control ventilation so when we think about it as a setting we can be talking about any uh, mandatory breath in either a CMV mode or mandatory breaths in an IMV mode. Now this is just a show uh, a ventilator screen. This is settings for volume control ventilation and if we look at all the settings we do not see a setting for minute ventilation. So as operators or practitioners, we do not specifically set a minute ventilation. So we set minute ventilations inadvertently by whatever respiratory rate we set and whatever tidal volume, or if we're in pressure control, it'd be the minute ventilation would be determined by my respiratory rate and my tidal volume based on whatever tidal volume I'm Window. I'm just going to highlight the smart window in the upper right hand corner. I do have a measured minute ventilation right there. And it just shows that my minute ventilation is currently set at 5 liters per minute. How does one set minute ventilation? Since we really don't set a minute ventilation, we should target minute ventilations. And one way is with the ideal body weight. And it specifically should be done like this. So if we look at, I'm going to use me as an example again. Um, I am a male and I'm five foot nine, and my ideal body weight is 71 kilograms. So for a minute ventilation to normally um, ventilate me, for my requirements for a 71 kilogram male. I would just multiply this by 100. So it would be 71 kilograms times 100 milliliters and that equals approximately 7.1 liters. So my ideal minute ventilation for my basal metabolic rate with no lung pathology would be 7.1 liters per minute. However, if I was running a fever or if I septic, my minute ventilation would need to be much higher. So if we go back to the ventilator settings and we look at the minute ventilation, I'm only getting a minute ventilation of 5 liters per minute. And this would not be significant for me, a 71 kilogram male, especially if I was heavily sedated or paralyzed. I'd probably end up with um, hypercapnia, higher CO2s. So I need a target.
and that's just for normal basal metabolic rate. Uh, to do this, I could do it two ways. There's, I could either increase my respiratory rate, or I could increase my tidal volume. So say I change my tidal volume to 700, and a respiratory rate of 10, that would give me approximately 7 liters per minute. So that'd get me in the range right there. And we still want to watch the tidal volume we're delivering when we're thinking about minute ventilation. So if I had normal pathology, and if I increased this to 700 cc's or milliliters, it would still be 10 cc's or milliliters per kilogram of ideal body weight. However, if I was, if I had ARDS, I might want to use a lower tidal volume, so I'd have to make up my minute ventilation by increasing my respiratory rate. Now there is one mode of ventilation that the operator actually sets a minute ventilation and it is a percent minute volume setting. So how this works, this is adaptive support ventilation and as you notice in the top right hand corner it's ASV, it stands for adaptive support ventilation and as you notice right below that there's a little setting that I'm highlighting now and circling called the percent minute volume setting. So this works kind of the same way. So there's another setting that one sets, and it's an ideal body weight setting from the standby screen. And then based on the ideal body weight setting, it's going to self-calculate. So it's going to look at the operator selected percent minute ventilation setting. And let's just say that was 100. So do the same thing. If it's 100%, that would deliver 7.1 liters per minute. And of course, if I cut that in half by 50, it'd drop it to approximately 3.5 liters per minute. Now uh, this is one of the most important settings when using adaptive support ventilation. So that sums up minute ventilation.